I just returned to the Police Memorial Building from 5221 Missouri Avenue on the north side of Jacksonville, where earlier this morning at about 4.45 a.m., we had two young girls in their teens uh, both shot down inside a trailer um, where someone indiscriminately just fired into the, into the living room area of this trailer where these two uh, young girls were at. Uh, the deceased at the scene was a Jasmine Shelton, who was a white female, 13 years old, uh, transported to UF uh, Health is uh, Megan Simmons, who's a white female, 14 years old. She is in very, very critical condition at this time. Uh, <clears throat> I, I want to appeal to anyone in the community, if you have information concerning this case, step up, call the police, 630-0500, give us that information uh, that, that you have. Even if you think it's not important, you call us. Uh, we are, we are uh, going to get justice for these two young girls. And, uh, you know, I have to tell you, this, this uh, reminds me uh, very much of the Drashana Davis case uh, several years back when someone just indiscriminately fired into a house and killed a nine-year-old girl. Uh, and, and this type of uh, just indiscriminate violence has got to stop in this community. And, uh, and I hope that as that case did uh, back in 2005, 6, uh, that, that these two young girls will also drive this community to stop this violence. So with that, I will throw it open for any questions. Sheriff, we, we were told by neighbors at the scene that they heard that the mother of the girl who died, as well as someone else, was were later arrested on outstanding warrants. Can you confirm whether that's true or not? No, there has not been an arrest uh, made concerning anyone in this case yet. However, uh, you do bring up something that I want to make a point. Uh, this, this was not a random act of violence. Uh, I'm, I can't go any further into that at this time. Uh, now, the killing of these two young girls, or, or uh, of, of the one young girl and the other who's in very critical condition, that was indiscriminate. I mean, they just fired into this house not knowing, not caring uh, who was in there. I saw dozens of bullet holes in, in the wall of this house, this trailer, that uh, showed just how, uh, uh, just how violent these, the, this shooter or shooters uh, were. And uh, this, this has got to stop. Was that place targeted, do you think, by the people? Was a re do you know of a reason that yes. that place may be targeted? Yes. That, that, was, that house was picked out for a reason. We're, we're not going to go into that. That trailer, I, I said the house, it's we, a trailer. But, but that location was not random. But I can't go into that any further. But there are people out there in the community, Mike, who know. They know what happened, and they know why it happened. And we need them to start calling us and telling us what's going on. Now, the good news is we've got a lot of folks that are already doing that. But anybody that has any information, please call us about this case. Were drugs yes, involved in this at all, drugs? I, I'm, I'm not going to get into the motivations uh, behind anything that went on. Uh, but, but I can just tell you it was not real. Hey, Sheriff, Sheriff uh, Thomas Brad from Ashton News. Uh, why are you coming out right now and speaking up on this case? There's many other cases that's been on the forefront this this year and everything. Why why are you uh, uh, you the head of this yeah, so right there? Why are you coming because out? Because I just left the scene where I've got a dead 13 year old and a 14 year old in the hospital who's on her deathbed. That's why I'm here. Sheriff, we were told at the scene by neighbors that someone at that, uh, an adult in that trailer, stabbed someone last night, and that person and their friends are the ones who came to the scene and shot it up. Can you comment on that at all? Again, I can't comment on that. We're, we're investigating um, everything that went on last night, not just this shooting, but, um, but the key here is we need folks to step up, mm -hmm. tell us everything that they know about what happened last night. And maybe not even just at this shooting, but leading up to it as well. So, what would you so, say to the people of Jacksonville? Because there seems to be a shoot at a mentality around here lately. Well, 
Look, um, yeah, we, we've been labeled the murder capital of the state of Florida. Uh, our violent crime, our crime in this community has dropped to the lowest levels we had seen since 1971 when we started keeping these records. Even our, even our, our murder rate uh, and, and, our, and our number of murders have dropped to the lowest in 2011, the lowest that we had ever recorded back to what we had recorded, 71. And, uh, and then we began to uh, pull back from supporting public safety. I'm 147 officers down. I'm 92 community service officers down. Those, those 92 community service officers freed up officers to stay in the community fighting crime. And the key is we've got to get these murderers off the street before they commit murder, not after. So put them in jail after is not the answer to, uh, to, to murder. After Drasona Davis, former Mayor Payton called uh, for a major crime initiative. The Jacksonville that got going. Journey. The Jacksonville exactly. Journey. Would you like to see something like that get started again under Mayor Brown? Look, we, yes, we, we absolutely have to fund public safety in this community. And, uh, and uh, look, it, policing takes resources. And uh, I, I don't think in any coincidence that when we were up at 1,750 police officers, we had the lowest crime and the lowest murders that we had seen in over 40 years. So, uh, you know, now I have fewer officers today than I had in 2003 when I became sheriff. Any other so that tells the story right there. Any other questions? There's no community service officers. But all these shootings are frustrating, especially when it involves an innocent teenager. Well, it's very frustrating. And, and the key is we've got to be able to get these folks, we've got to have the manpower to get out and get these folks and arrest them for things before they commit murder, not arrest them after they commit murder. And that takes, that takes staffing. Your personal feelings after seeing everything that you saw today? I'm, well, clearly, I'm, I'm angry and I'm upset. I mean, when uh, it's it's hard to talk about a 13-year-old and a 14-year-old being murdered in their home when when they've done absolutely nothing, nothing. These girls have nothing to do with anything that occurred last night. They simply happened to be at the wrong place at the wrong, well, they were in the right place. They were in their home. Well, one of them was in her home. The other one was visiting. And uh, it's got to stop. Sergeant but, Fairhot said originally they thought this was a drive-by. Neighbors have said no, they saw people running away on foot after they heard gunshots. Do you, can you comment at all? Was this a drive-by shooting or was this people on foot who did this? No, I, I, I can't comment on that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.